Good afternoon. My name is Nicole. My name is Penina. And we are here to present to you an idea that, if pursued, would revolutionize the energy needs of our planet Earth forever. We call this idea the, fire. the fireball. And boy, would it light up your world, literally. literally. So, before we tell you what our idea is about, I'd like to explain how we first came up with the idea. From my side of the story, it all started in the car when I was listening to the radio, BBC News. Yeah, BBC News. So, I was hearing how carbon dioxide was clogging up our atmosphere and how global warming is going to affect Africa, aka, in Africa it's going to snow. Can you imagine Central Africa snowing? Does that make sense? So, I was thinking, why? Why all this carbon dioxide? Why all this petrol? Why the use of all these fossil fuels? All is just because they're renewable? So I went to school and asked my friend Nicole a bit about what she thought about this situation. After my friend Penina approached me, I did some research, and it turns out that um, solar power is actually one of the most, one of the best sorts, sources of energy, as although it produces carbon dioxide, it doesn't produce as much carbon dioxide as our cars and refrigerators do. But the only problem with solar power is that the sun isn't always there now, is it? Sure, it might, there might be cloud cover, but the amount of energy usually varies day to day. To solve this dilemma, we decided to come up with a way to create our own artificial star here on Earth so that it would always be available and always be there to provide the energy we need. So, what is it about? It's about creating a new power source, one that will not endanger our environment and the one of our future generation. It's about finding an energy source that, will, that is more efficient, because trust me, all this carbon dioxide proves that all these energy sources that we're using is not an efficient way. <clears throat> At this point, you're probably wondering, what is this idea we're talking about? Is it just a ball made of fire? Well, the fact is that it's not a ball made of fire. It's actually an artificial star. Now, how could an artificial star possibly better the situation our planet Earth is in today? Well, it would be a more reliable source of energy, wouldn't it? It would produce less carbon dioxide, although it would still produce carbon dioxide, but not as much as our previous sources of energy. Now, just imagine your planet Earth. Would, it, would you like it to end up as the picture on the left, which is the path that we're headed to, or the picture on the right? I believe that most of us said that we'd like to be living in a world that looked like the picture on the right. Well, that's why this idea came about. Came about. So, how will this artificial star be made. Would like to remind you that all the elements that the star is made that the sun is made of are found on Earth. This box wouldn't just be a box. In real life it would be a chamber. Inside would where the star would be found. Now making a star isn't easy. It would need at least the size of three football stadiums. An infrared light laser, sorry, would strike into the amplifiers, would creating 192 more infrared laser beams, which would then create a UV light. This reaction would then create our star. Then a motor spinning around would create such a strong magnetic field that would then make the star last, long-lasting. Now imagine, wait, Nicole, please tell me, um, how many miles is the sun from Earth? The sun is 92 meters away from Earth, but to, precise, it's, to be precise, it's 92,955,807 miles away from Earth. Okay. Now imagine one that is two miles from Earth. No, sorry, on Earth. The amount of solar energy collected could possibly power a whole country, let alone a whole continent. We wouldn't need 
oil and coal to produce all of this, we wouldn't need wasteful energy sources that would be depleted soon enough before the extinction of the human race. Now that we've told you how we came up with the idea, and we've also explained what it is, I bet you're wondering, now what would this stir be made out of? You might think that you might need some intergalactic sort of material or some out of this world sort of process to carry it out, but actually, the materials are all here on Earth. The fact is that to create an artificial star, all you need is a bunch of gases. 72% of the star would be made up of a gas called hydrogen. I'm pretty sure you all know what hydrogen is. The rest of the 26% would be made up of elements such as helium, oxygen, carbon, neon, nitrogen, magnesium, silicon, iron, and sulfur. And now that we've explained to you our idea, we hope that we've all enlightened you, and we hope that you might be able to take away something that you'd always remember. And we'd like to remind you that, yes, this idea would be expensive, and the funding would need so many investors and many, many, many school charity parties and all that. But it is worth it, because saving the Earth is worth it. Thank you.